guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. I was going to be covering a book or a notebook. I haven't decided which one yet. And I had this fabric that was, I had already dyed it previously. This is the back side of it. With some, just some fabric dye, like some writ fabric dye. So I wanted to try out a technique it's a super, super old technique, and some of you may have tried this in school or summer camp or other art classes. And it is a faux batik technique. That, that rhymes, a faux batik technique. I did film little pieces of it just in case it worked out. So like I said, I had dyed it before, so it had been treated, however it says on the on the fabric dye, however you're supposed to treat the fabric. It was washed and I think it was soaked in washing soda is what they want. That part was already done. So I didn't do that again. I just, I thought, you know what? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I did not re-pre-treat it, just grabbed it out of the drawer and slapped some stuff on it. And I will show you what that is. So roll that tape. So as you can see, I am smearing on a paste and all this paste is, is flour and water. And I mixed probably half and half and I just mixed it up with a fork and then I think it was too thin. So I added some more flour because I wanted it to be, let's say like a waffle batter thickness. And then I took a little scraper tool and I smeared that as evenly as possible over this fabric. Clip the edges so that it wouldn't roll up too badly. I figured the best place to dry it would be outside in the sun. And it did take a minute, but when it finally dried, it was a crusty mess, just kind of gross. I took it off that black piece of corrugated plastic and I just started scrunching, scrunching, scrunching to make cracks in that dried flour paste that I had smeared all over it. And then once I pretty much thought that it was crunched up as much as it was going to be crunched up, that's when I took some black acrylic paint with just a little bit of water. And I didn't want the paint to be too goopy, it won't seep through the cracks. So you want it a little thinner. Your mileage may vary there because paint is going to be different thicknesses. The paint that you get in just a regular craft bottle is going to be thinner than if you buy a heavy body acrylic in like a tube. You just want it, oh, like whipping cream, I would say. And then that got painted all over the top. And you can pick it up and you can turn it over just gingerly and check and see if that paint is seeping through. So I wasn't even sure if the black paint was gonna stick, but outside it went again to dry in the sun. This part did not take as long. Acrylic paint tends to dry fairly quickly. And then all I did was I grabbed the hose and I turned it on as high as it would go. And I just started spraying the bejeebies out of all the paste had dried and all the paint had dried just to get it off of, of the top of the fabric. And this is what it ended up looking like. As you can see, there are areas where there's a lot more paint and then some where there's barely any, but that's okay. I wanted it to be more or less an organic looking pattern. It looks rather like veins in rock formations to me is what it looks like. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. So I love crackled anything. I was a child of the 80s. So, so everybody was crackling everything in the 80s. Maybe that's where it came from. But I really love this. Let me come in a little closer there. I just really love all these little teeny tiny cracks everywhere. I think it's, I think it's kind of cool looking. So I hope you think it's cool looking. Maybe this is something you will try. Maybe you have tried it. And if you have tried it, let me know. This was just acrylic paint. And so it probably should have just all washed away. I was thinking that it would probably mostly wash away. 
It didn't do too badly though. So maybe because the fabric had already been washed and treated, I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys, you tell me, man. But I think it looks pretty cool and I think I'll probably try it again. Perhaps I will do just crackles on fabric that hasn't been dyed before. Maybe it's just been washed and then and then treated to accept the dye. And this was acrylic paint, so maybe I should use like, I don't know, real fabric dye. <laughs> that being said, I don't really care because I still think it looks cool. I think if it was just on white fabric, maybe I wouldn't like it so much because the blue on the background is kind of a variegated, it kind of masks the fact that all these lines aren't super crisp. I don't know. If I had done it in brown instead of blue, it probably really would look like rocks. Anyway, I just wanted to show that to you guys before I do something out of it so that you could see what this looks like and maybe you will want to try it at home. You might have to treat your fabric first with some washing soda or soak it in vinegar or alum or there's different things you have to do for different kinds. This is cotton, but different types of fabrics, fibers will need different kinds of pretreatment so that the dye will stick to it. Obviously this had enough in it to soak up the black acrylic paint. So thankfully that worked out. All right, all y'all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.